Today is Monday, January 4th. Let's go over your memory scripture this week. It will come out of the book Ephesians chapter 6 verse 1. And it says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Ephesians 6 1. Again, children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. We've been talking about the Israelites, the Hebrews, and how God led them out of Egypt, and they are now taking a journey through the wilderness. Remember, they are traveling to the promised land, the land that God promised to give them. And so in the midst of their journey through the wilderness, they faced a lot of troubles, like they ran out of water, they didn't have food, but God provided for them every single time. Because Moses prayed and asked the Lord for provision. Remember the Hebrews, they always complained instead of trusting God. So they had to learn how to trust the Lord. But thank God for Moses. Moses prayed and he sought the Lord and God provided everything for them. Remember the manna. God would give them manna every day. Remember the quail. God uh, sent the quail and they were able to catch the birds and they had meat. Also, when they were thirsty, God not only healed the bitter waters, but he also gave them water from a rock as well. And then whenever the Amalekites tried to attack them, well, did attack them, um, God made an army out of his people and they were able to fight and defeat the Amalekites. So God is showing his people that he is with them. He also leads them with the cloud by day and the fire by night. And so God has done so many things for the people to show them that he is their God and that he is with them. So today we will continue our lesson on the Hebrews and their journey through the wilderness. After some time of traveling through the wilderness, the cloud stopped at a mountain and it was called Mount Sinai. And when the cloud stops, of course, the Hebrews, they stop as well because that means, means the Lord is telling them to rest there. So they set up camp, they put their tents up, and they stayed um, around Mount Sinai. And so here they actually stayed for about a year. And during their time at Mount Sinai, the Lord uh, was going to teach them a lot of different things. And it was also good because they were able to kind of get rest from their traveling. So as they were at mount sinai um the people you know they stayed at the bottom of the mountain but god often called moses to come meet him at the top of the mountain and so the lord spoke to moses and he told moses to come up the mountain to meet with him and moses would climb the mountain and he would go somewhere inside of the mountain and god would speak to him so God spoke to Moses and said, give these instructions to the people of Israel. And so God reminded Israel of his great love and mercy towards them and how he had delivered them from Egypt and how he's been taking care of them through their journey. And God also told the people that he has chosen them as a special people. They would be his people. These are the descendants of Abraham. If you remember Whenever we covered Abraham, remember God showed him the dust and the stars and he told him he would give us a, him, him a descendants just like that. And these are the descendants of Abraham. And so remember, God also promised Abraham the land of Canaan, which is the promised land. And that's that God was reminding Moses to remind the people of all that God promised to give them and all that was promised to Abraham was for them. And so God wanted to make a covenant with the people, which is like an agreement. And so God wanted uh, Moses to tell the people that if they would obey God and God's rules and to keep their part of the deal, that they would be a special treasure to the Lord and they would be a nation of royal priests serving the Lord. And so this covenant that God wanted to make with the Hebrews, all God asks is that they obey him and obey his rules. And if they obey God and served God, God would bless them tremendously. You know, they would be royal priests. You know, they would be special to the Lord and they would have, I'm sure, many blessings. And all they had to do was obey God and obey his rules. And so God wanted Moses to go and tell the people about this covenant that God wanted to make, this agreement that God wanted to make with them. Before Moses returned from the mountain, 
the Lord had told Moses to tell the people to prepare because God was actually going to come. He was going to come in the form of a thick cloud and he was going to personally speak to the people. God himself would tell the people everything that he just told Moses. He wanted to tell the people that himself. God wanted to show the people that he was real and he wanted them to hear him for themselves. And so God sent Moses down the mountain and he said, I want you to tell the people how to prepare for my coming. So Moses went down the mountain and he called all the leaders of the people and he spoke to them all that the Lord had said. He said, the Lord will come down to you in the form of a thick cloud so that the people themselves will be able to hear when God speaks. He says, go down now and see that the people get ready for God's visit. And so Moses gave some very important instructions for the people. They had to follow the instructions. The first thing the people had to do was to wash their clothes. Remember, they had been traveling for some time, so I'm sure their clothes were dirty at this point, and the Lord wanted them to be clean when they came before him. And so they had to wash their clothing. And so the next thing they had to do was to build a fence that would go around the bottom of the mountain. And so this was because God was going to rest in a cloud. So God was going to come in the form of a thick cloud and the cloud would rest on the mountain. And, you know, God is holy. He is, you know, there's no sin found in the Lord and we are sinful beings. And so um, the people, you know, they couldn't touch the mountain you know, because it would have been when God would have rest on the mountain, then everything around, you know, the mountain would have been holy as well because God, God's presence was there. And so the Lord warned the people that they should not try to touch the mountain or anything. And so that's why they built the fence. It would be a barrier to show the people that you cannot come into the mountain. Don't try to touch the mountain or anything like that. And so they built the, the, uh, the fence around the bottom of the mountain. And Moses says, the day after tomorrow, God will come down upon Mount Sinai to talk to the people. So God sent Moses down to the people twice to warn them about how to prepare when God, for God's coming and also not to try and touch the mountain or anything um, whenever the Lord would come and when his presence would rest on the mountain. So two days passed, and on the third day, one of the most wonderful things that has ever happened happened. The Lord actually came and manifested himself before the entire nation of Israel. So they were able to, they didn't see God because the Bible says no man can see God and live because God... His, his holiness is so perfect. We can't in our bodies, our sinful bodies, we can't just behold his glory. But that's why he came in the form of a cloud. But they were able to see God come down, you know, from heaven in the form of the cloud. And they were able to hear the voice of the Lord himself as well. And so God has not done this to any other nation, but he did this to the Hebrews, the, the Israelites. Those were his people, the people that he chose. So he spoke to them personally. So on that third day, the Lord came down in a thick, dark cloud and settled on top of the mountain. So lightning was flashing out of the cloud. There was thunder that you could hear. It was like dark black smoke was like wrapped upon the mountain. And so the Lord is not a cloud. He just came in the form of a cloud. Just like remember when he appeared to Moses uh, he came in the form of fire, the burning bush. And then remember, he leads them by the cloud and all of that. So God is not any of these things. He just he can uh, come in the form of these things like he can appear as these things. As the cloud rested on the mountain, a loud trumpet began to blow. And it was because the trumpet was announcing the coming of the Lord. And not just that, but it got the attention of the people and they were they realized God is real and he is about to speak to us. And so um, when they heard the trumpet, the people actually were extremely fearful because they were like, what is going on? They had never experienced anything like this before. But God wants us to have a reverence of him, a fear of him to know that he is great and he is mighty. And that's exactly why God wanted to appear to the people to show them that he's real. Yes, but also that he is a mighty God, a powerful God. And so the people realized this as they saw him, him, you know, come in the form of the cloud. 
And so Moses brought the people to the foot of Mount Sinai and the people were there and they, you know, they saw the Lord. And so they remember they can't pass the fence, but I'm sure after seeing all of this, the people didn't want to pass up the fence. And so the trumpet got louder and louder and then God began to speak and he gave the people the Ten Commandments. And I'm sure you've heard of the Ten Commandments. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not try to make any image of God. And so we'll talk about that on Wednesday, the Ten Commandments. But the Lord began to speak the Ten Commandments. That was the rules. Remember, he told Moses that if the people obeyed his rules and did things God's way, that God would bless the people and they would be a special treasure to him. So these were the rules that God had given to Moses, well, to the people, these were the rules that God wanted them to follow the 10 commandments. And so the people, they heard the Lord speaking to them. They saw the lightning, the fire, the thunder, the smoke, all of that. And then they were like, Moses, um, you speak to us and we will listen, but do not let God speak to any, to any more to us because we will die. And Moses said, do not be afraid for God has come this way to show you that he has awesome power and that from now on you will honor him and be afraid to sin against him. And so Moses had the people return to their tents and then Moses went back up into the mountain and he received more, you know, laws from the Lord, commands from the Lord as well. And so the people, they were able to see the Lord and they were able to hear God speak directly to them. But this is what God wanted. God wanted them to see this because then they would honor and they would reverence the Lord, right? They would respect God um, by seeing him in this form. And so we saw that because they're like, Moses, we're scared, we're afraid. And so they were fearful and that's what God wanted not afraid like like ah oh, we're scared but more like fearful like uh like God had mighty power and they were like wow this is this is amazing and so the Lord he wanted the people to see that this is the God that you believe in the God that has been leading you this is the God that has taken you out of Egypt this is I am the Lord. And so um, that was God's purpose in appearing to the people. And again, like I said, God has not appeared to any other nation, but he did to the Hebrews, the Israelites, because those were his special people that he chose, especially from back with Abraham. These were the people that God had chosen. And so they were able to see God and hear him speak to them the Ten Commandments. And so that's our lesson today. God appearing to the people at Mount Sinai. Tomorrow we will get into something that will happen that's quite interesting. So Moses goes back up into the mountain and he'll be gone a little while. And the people are actually going to start to get concerned about Moses because he's going to be up there a while. And we'll see what they do. So that's what our Bible lesson will be on tomorrow.